All right, everyone, this is Ross, and what we're looking at here is my black cherry tree. And uh, provides a ton of shade. I guess that's a nice benefit, but it really is the bane of my existence here, growing fruit in, um, in this climate. And the reason for that is that it puts out these cherries. And the cherries all ripen up and then they fall. Nothing really eats them. They fall down to the ground and then they start to ferment. And when they ferment, they attract fruit flies. And a certain type of fruit fly called SWD or spotted wing drosophilia comes in and really wreaks havoc in a lot of my soft fleshed fruits. Uh, like raspberries and figs and strawberries. Realistically though, anything with a soft skin or anything that's fermenting. And what I've recently seen in the last couple of days, you, you're not really going to see it now, is that there's no more cherries on the tree. There's very few because the birds came in and actually ate them. And I was very surprised. This is... Um, been a bit of a learning experience. A couple years ago when we first got SWD here, I didn't realize what was bringing them all in, but this is it. This black cherry tree really attracts them with all those cherries that fall that are not eaten and then fermented. It really brings in this pest in pretty big numbers. But now that the tree's done fruiting, things are actually eating these. You can see the, here's the pits that are left over. So things are actually eating them, which is a good sign. However, we already have SWD here. In the beginning of September, I saw my first SWD, and yesterday what I decided to do was get myself a bucket. This is what I do every year, and it seems to work out well with the numbers of fruit flies here in the yard. Get myself a bucket with, uh, with no holes in it, Fill it up with water, put a little dish soap in there, and then also fill it up with other fermenting fruits. And we make a stew, basically. And if I knock this a little bit, well, I actually didn't see any fruit flies. So what they do is they get attracted to this and it forms a trap. This is their lure. And uh, they go down in here and they go down at the bottom for the fruits that are fermenting. It really has a crazy odor to it. And they go after this and they kind of stay away from my other fruits. And it really keeps the fruit fly at bay. And as soon as I put this out and fill it up, I'm telling you, it's just overnight, the numbers have dramatically decreased. Now what I do is I put in the, also the leaves of these plants. So if I have raspberries that are fermenting, like over here, I'll take the leaves of the raspberries and I'll also put the leaves in there because they like decaying leaves. And what I'll do is anytime I get myself an infected fruit, you can see right there on the, the stem of the raspberry how it's red. It's stained red. That means it has the fruit fly in it. It's also very soft and there's liquid pooling at the bottom of the raspberry. That tells me that there is SWD in there. And uh, all I do now is just dispose of it. Put it in the bucket. Now it becomes more... Actually, here's some fruit flies I see flying around in here. Yesterday I was over here and there was like 20 fruit flies just in this bucket flying around. So that's one little tip there, guys. One little thing that I do in my yard to keep the fruit flies away. Definitely, I think the leaves really helps, by the way. They like decaying leaves. So if you keep the ground clean underneath these plants, I think it helps. But also with the figs, if you have leaves that have fallen off your fig trees, gather up these leaves, excuse me, and don't let them decay. If they start to decay, you will get attract the fruit fly. Also, it seems like with excess water when it rains, when fruits split, especially when it rains after that, it just causes issues with fermentation and uh, these fruit flies are attracted even further. So anyway guys, I want to thank everybody here for watching this little video. I wanted to do this little quick thing on that trap 
We talked about it last year. It certainly works. Um, try it yourself. If you guys are having trouble with this pest, we'll talk to you all soon. Take care, guys.